Hello and welcome to another episode of Military TV. Today we're going to talk about an advanced multi-role combat helicopter AH-64 Apache. The Apache is a twin-engined army attack helicopter developed by McDonnell Douglas, now Boeing. It was designed to be an extremely tough survivor under combat. The Apache prototype made its first flight in 1975 as the YAH-64. And in 1982, the Army approved the program now known as AH-64A Apache for production. Deliveries began from the McDonnell Douglas plant at Mesa, Arizona in 1984, the year Hughes helicopters became part of McDonnell Douglas. It is a quick-reacting airborne weapon system that can fight close and deep to destroy, disrupt, or delay enemy forces. The Apache is designed to fight and survive during the day, night, and in adverse weather conditions throughout the world. The principal mission of the Apache is the destruction of high-value targets with the Hellfire missile. It is also capable of employing a 30mm M230 chain gun and Hydra 70 or 2.75-inch rockets that are lethal against a wide variety of targets. It also has a full range of aircraft survivability equipment and has the ability to withstand hits from rounds up to 23 millimeters in critical area. The question is how powerful are Apache helicopters? Keep watching this video until the end so you will find the answer. First of all, let's see the capabilities of this advanced helicopter. The AH-64 Apache is a twin-engined, four-bladed, multi-mission attack helicopter designed as a highly stable aerial weapons delivery platform. It is designed to fight and survive during the day, night, and in adverse weather throughout the world. With a tandem-seated crew consisting of the pilot, located in the rear cockpit position, and the co-pilot gunner, CPG, located in the front position, the Apache is self-deployable highly survivable and delivers a lethal array of battlefield armaments. In addition, the Apache features a target acquisition designation site, TADS, and a pilot night vision sensor, PNVS, which enables the crew to navigate and conduct precision attacks in day, night, and adverse weather conditions. Furthermore, in the weapons side, the Apache can carry up to 16 Hellfire laser-designated missiles. With a range of over 8,000 meters, the Hellfire is used primarily for the destruction of tanks, armored vehicles, and other hard material targets. The Apache can also deliver 76 2.75-inch folding fin aerial rockets for use against enemy personnel, light armor vehicles, and other soft skin targets. Rounding out, the Apache's deadly punch are 1,200 rounds of ammunition for its area weapon system, AWS, 30mm automatic gun. Now let's talk about its engine and performance. The Apache is powered by two General Electric gas turbine engines rated at 1,890 shaft horsepower each. The Apache's maximum gross weight is 17,650 pounds, which allows for a cruise airspeed of 145 miles per hour and a flight endurance of over three hours. With its performance, the AH-64 Apache can climb at a rate of 889 meters per minute. The maximum and cruise speeds of the helicopter are 279 kilometers per hour and 260 kilometers per hour, respectively. The ferry range and service ceiling of the helicopter are 1,900 kilometers and 6,400 meters, respectively. The endurance is 3 hours and 9 minutes. The helicopter weighs around 5,165 kilograms, while the maximum takeoff weight is 10,433 kilograms. Moreover, the Apache can be configured with an external 230-gallon fuel tank to extend its range on attack missions, or it can be configured with up to four 230-gallon fuel tanks for ferrying or self-deployment missions. The combat radius of the AH-64 is approximately 150 kilometers. The combat radius with one external 230-gallon fuel tank installed is approximately 300 kilometers, and the AH-64 is air transportable in the C-5, C-141, and C-17. 
Another sophistication of the Apache is it has state-of-the-art optics that provide the capability to select from three different target acquisition sensors. These sensors are Day TV, views images during day and low light levels, black and white. TADS FLIR, views thermal images, real world and magnified during day, night and adverse weather. DVO, views real world, full color and magnified images during daylight and dust conditions. Besides sensors, the Apache has four articulating weapons pylons, two on either side of the aircraft on which weapons or external fuel tanks can be mounted. The aircraft has a LRFD. This is used to designate for the Hellfire missile system as well as provide range and target information for the fire control's computer's calculation of ballistic solutions. Now that we know about its sophistication, it's time to see eight variants of the helicopter. Number one, we have the AH-64A. The AH-64A is the original production attack helicopter. The crew sits in tandem in an armored compartment. It is powered by two GET-700 turboshaft engines. The A model was equipped with the 701 engine version until 1990, when the engines were switched to the more powerful 701C version. Number 2. AH-64B the AH-64B was a proposed upgrade to 254 AH-64As. The upgrade would have included new rotor blades, a global positioning system (GPS), improved navigation systems, and new radios. Number 3 AH-64C The C upgrade would include all changes to be included in the long bow except for mast-mounted radar and newer 700C engine versions. Number 4. AH-64D The AH-64D Apache Longbow is equipped with a glass cockpit and advanced sensors, the most noticeable of which being the AN-APG-78 Longbow Millimeter Wave Fire Control Radar FCR Target Acquisition System and the Radar Frequency Interferometer RFI housed in a dome located above the main rotor. The aircraft is powered by a pair of uprated T-700 GE-701C engines. Number 5. AH-64E Formerly known as AH-64D Block 3, in 2012 it was redesignated as AH-64E Guardian to represent its increased capabilities. The AH-64E features improved digital connectivity, the Joint Tactical Information Distribution System, more powerful T-700 GE-701D engines with upgraded face gear transmission to accommodate more power, capability to control unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs, full IFR capability, and improved landing gear. Number 6. AH-64F the conceptual AH-64F would have greater speed via a new 3,000-shaft horsepower turboshaft engine from the improved turbine engine program, retractable landing gear, stub wings to offload lift from the main rotor during cruise, and a tail rotor that can articulate 90 degrees to provide forward thrust. Number 7. Compound Apache in October 2018, Boeing began testing the AH-64E Block II compound, a compound helicopter design which added a larger fixed wing and a pusher propeller to the Apache airframe to provide additional lift and thrust respectively. In addition, the engine exhaust was redirected downwards. Collectively, the modifications were anticipated to improve speed to 185 km per hour, range to 460 nautical miles, payload to 5,900 pounds, and fuel economy. Number 8. Sea Apache During the 1980s, naval versions of the AH-64A for the United States Marine Corps and Navy were examined. Multiple concepts were studied with altered landing gear arrangements, improved avionics, and weapons. The United States Marine Corps USMC was very interested and conducted a two-week evaluation of the Apache in September 1981, including shipboard operation tests. In the last part, we will show you the countries which operate the advanced helicopter. 
In conclusion, the AH-64 Apache has accumulated millions of flight hours over its lifetime, supporting troops as an advanced multi-role combat helicopter. These capabilities make Apache not only one of the most formidable attack helicopters in the world, but also creates a chill in the spines of the enemy. The most important factor to be noticed here is that to date, over 2,000 such helicopters have been made and delivered to different countries in the world. Only one had been the victim of enemy fire in the Gulf War. This too because this was a very initial type and was not upgraded.